Thank you. It's a, a strange feeling to be uh, actually standing on the Red Cross. We, we, we realize that people actually see kind of different things. Uh, for some, this is a podium, and uh, like you, you expect some, some nice ladies coming out, and then that's me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> for, for me, it's, it's, it, it, remind, it somehow looks like a Red Cross more than that, so I, I feel somehow very strange, but I will try. Um, before I start, I think uh, uh, what should, you should know about, uh, about me, uh, apart from the, fa the fact that I am the person you can see now, so not, uh, not very much hair left and uh, maybe some, some uh, excessive weight, so that's, that's, that's a visible side, but uh, I, I, I believe in people and those of you who are familiar with uh, McGregor's theory of X and Y types, types of management, then I am the the why uh, guy. I believe, I love people, I believe people are uh, having their best intentions and if organizations and managers uh, do not, uh, let's say, screw that up, then people come to the work with the best intention and they do the best. Uh, I will speak on, so is it, ah, yeah, I, I, I um, my speech will I will try to, to basically um, bring those two things together, the purpose and, uh, and employee engagement. Uh, talking about the purpose, it's, it's like, I think it's, it has been with the humanity forever. So uh, since you know, any, any recent, uh, written sources of history, uh, people have always asked the question, why? So, so why, why, why I'm here, what I'm doing here, what's the purpose of my life? And uh, only recently, this, uh, the purpose has become, um, has become uh, more of a buzzword also uh, in, 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 in business uh, and, and management related, um, related uh, topics that, are, uh, that people are, 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 are covering. So I, I first, let's say first, I was thinking when, 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 when it actually started for me and uh, it goes back to 2005, I think, uh, when after uh, attending a conference in London, I, I, I bought and read a book by uh, an American thinker, um, Daniel Pink, the, the, the Whole New Mind. I believe you have, many of you have read that book. And then, uh, apart from many other interesting things, uh, what, what, uh, what Dan uh, mentioned in the book was... Uh, the future competencies of, of or future expectations uh, towards uh, towards leaders and people uh, in the organizations and there there were six things uh, in that story um, uh, design storytelling game symphony uh, what was the the fifth one somebody can help me and then the, the, the last one was 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 meaning or or actually it, uh, it's the substitute for the word purpose. So Dan was the first one saying that, that actually making sense or bringing meaning into, uh, into organizations, into uh, your professional life, uh, is what, what, what organizations are going to see and uh, that, that will be the challenge for the future leaders. I didn't start my clock, sorry. Uh, I think it's very personal. I mean, the purpose cannot Although we are we are we are talking about uh, like like big things, uh, um, um, organizations are contributing to the to the global uh, global wealth of, 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 of humanity and, 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 and environment. I think it starts very personal. It starts in your heart. And then I would like you to think now back uh, in your professional career of those moments where you had this sense of meaning, sense of purpose while doing your work. For me, uh, it goes back to 1996, the first Christmas party at the, at the newly established uh, company which I, where, where I was uh, one of the founders. Uh, the company still exists, it's called Fontes. And I remember our first Christmas party, we were sitting in our small meeting room around the table. Uh, well. <laughs> No experience whatsoever, but a very, very big ambition uh, to, to conquer the world. Uh, and, and, and I believe, 
of course, you might say it's a wishful thinking, but I believe we had a purpose at that moment. I, at least I can speak of myself, of course. Uh, I, 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 we wanted, I, I wanted to, 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 to make a change in the way, uh, basically, the uh, consulting or HR consulting is done. Uh, and and uh, not only to, to, to prove our clients that we are able to recruit the best people for their organizations, but also to, to help them to change their organizations and businesses and shape them uh, to something better. And of course, we did not have experience. We, 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 did not, uh, we were not sure uh, whether it was going to fly or not. But, uh, but the sense of purpose uh, was uh, something that was driving us all at the time. And, and uh, thanks to previous speaker, I did not, I don't need to spend too much time uh, proving uh, that uh, <laughs> multitasking is difficult for me, you see, it's, uh, I have two devices and they are not connected, so. Uh, the, the future of work is, 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 uh, is going to be a purpose-driven organization, and that's, well, there, there's a lot of evidence that this, is, uh, that this is emerging, that this is coming. And, and of course, only the, the, the time will prove whether this is right or not. But, but more and more uh, organizations and businesses are talking, uh, are talking about this. And, and, and I think what, what is important um, uh, when, we talk about, um, when we talk about the purpose in, 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 in the business uh, uh, context is that uh, not only the products or services or, or, or the way we service our clients uh, it, it, it has this purpose. But also the, the, the companies internally, the company culture has to express those, uh, the, the purpose and the value. So it's not, our, uh, instead of thinking, uh, instead of thinking uh, uh, what and how companies uh, need to, 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 to get answers or have a discussion around why uh, things are happening. So uh, the traditionals, uh, traditional mission vision uh, statements are now being replaced by, by purpose statements. And I, I, I very much hope that this, this, is there for, uh, this is there to stay because I, I truly believe that this is something that helps at the end of the day, that helps uh, uh, the, to, to, to make a world a little bit better place. Uh, engagement, now, I, now it's the the moment of truth, I have to uh, bring those two things together, the purpose and the engagement. Uh, I will start with a question, um, and it's an open question. What, what is the difference between en employee engagement and employee satisfaction? Motivation, in what sense? Yeah, I think, uh, indeed, but I think it's, 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 it's about being willing to, to make a change. Because if, if, if people are satisfied, then they probably would like to uh, maintain this uh, satisfaction, so they would like to maintain uh, being in their comfort zones. They would like to, 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 to stay in the organization as is. Whereas uh, if, if, if you are engaged, the, you want this organization to be better. You want to, the environment to be better. You want your products and services to be better. You want to have a purpose. So, so basically, um, the, main, the main difference is, is, is a motivation to change. So, uh, and indeed, uh, you, you have to somehow, you have to prove, and, and for a long time, um, I was kind of struggling with finding good evidence that actually being nice to people is good, and it's actually good for the business. Because if you look at uh, reality, especially in, in, in Latvian organizations, and I believe the majority here are, 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 are representing or have been exposed to uh, local organizations here. So, so uh, we, if, you, if you think uh, which organizations are, are, are successful in this country in terms of business, in terms of profitability, and you will find that uh, in most of cases, in majority of cases for sure, the, the, the leaders of these organizations are kind of tough, autocratic, ex-type by G McGregor, uh, like, like managers. So it's, it's, and then the question is, well, this, so this uh, why theory or, or, or let's say trusting and loving people does not fly in the business world here? Maybe, 
but, but um, there is more and more evidence, uh, and global evidence, first of all, and I believe it's coming here as well, that organizations that are paying attention to employee engagement, the organizations that are taking care of, of, of uh, you know, making people feel well, um, are actually more productive at the end of the day in the longer run, and there is loads of research now showing that, so they are more creative, and they bring more satisfaction, both in terms of customer satisfaction as well as in terms of employee satisfaction with, 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 with the place and the work content that they do. So I think that's, that's, uh, that is a very, very important uh, change, maybe, that we are going to face. And of course, unless there will be more examples of, 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 of uh, good, um, let's say, uh, success stories, uh, in, in, in here, uh, then uh, no, it will be just me speaking. But, but on the other hand, if you think you are, again, most of you or many of you are uh, coming from, from uh, communications, marketing uh, uh, industry, so, so especially those uh, creative industries or, or, or no, how shall I call them, uh, yeah, communication related industries, uh, they are much more exposed to a need to attract people whom, whose uh, creativity, whose uh, engagement levels are higher. So I think it, it starts with, 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 with industries like, 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 uh, yeah, like yours in, in, in many cases. And then it, I hope, will grow out of that. Uh, I, well, I have developed uh, a magic formula of, uh, of an employee engagement and that it, it consists like of three major pillars or three major elements. First of them is, is involvement, so you need to involve people uh, to, to, to make them engaged. So you need to, to involve them in a way that you, you, you make them part of the information exchange, you, you make them part of uh, discussing, uh, discussing issues and, and also make them part of making, making decisions. Uh, second one is empowerment, it means that you you give, you delegate, you give uh, right to decide, you give the freedom to act to people, uh, and, 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 and that's, that, that is also very important. And the last but not least important is, is, is this uh, making sense, or actually delivering or bringing purpose into, into their working lives. And uh, interestingly enough, those, the, these, these factors are, and this is again uh, based, on, based on lots of, e uh, of research, with the younger generations, so the millennials and, and, and Generation Z, Generation Y and Generation Z, uh, as they are called, it's, it's, it, the, the, those factors are becoming more and more important. It's really, we are, talking about, we are talking about not only the corporate citizenship, so people within organizations expect them to be uh, you know, treated in, 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 in this way, uh, uh, respected in this way, but also uh, also from the client side, uh, from the society side, uh, the, the global citizenship, uh, actually Jeremy talked about as well. So this, there, there is this uh, kind of uh, expectation uh, that, that uh, organizations will, will um, obey uh, these, these changes. Uh, now um, I am at the spot where I somehow shall bring uh, also all of what I'm talking under the reputation umbrella. And uh, since I was told that I will be the second one, so I, to some extent also setting the, 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 the tone uh, for the event today, so I could not leave this out and I, was, uh, I put some thinking under this. So uh, in order to win the, the corporate reputation word, war, um, you have to, organizations have to change their uh, uh, employee value propositions. And, uh, and what people actually expect or what, uh, what is expected in order to, to, to be, to have this reputation uh, is you have to demonstrate how a person working for that organization will be able to provide, to make a positive impact on the job they do on the product or service that they deliver to their customers, but also to the, to the, to the wider organization, to the society, and to, to, to the global well-being. Okay, 
and then continuous personal growth is also what people expect and would like to see there. And uh, finally, but uh, it's also very, very important, uh, organizations have to take care about meaningful relationships. So, uh, put it in, a, in a one word, we need to think about changing from providing work-life balance to our, to, to our employees to, to actually making a work, work integration, work-life integration. So, and, and there are some good examples, like Google is one of them, so that, that, that actually has, uh, is, broken, is breaking down the borders between where you work and where you actually uh, live. And, and, and so this personal life gets, uh, as you are allowed to, to use your, uh, let's say, f your, your working time quite, quite freely, then uh, this becomes part of your, actually, your like, life. And finally, I, uh, each leader, each, actually each, each person in the organization has, those, uh, has to think about those four levels of purpose. It starts with a personal one. I, I, you cannot, let's say, have a purpose on the organizational level un unless you have the purpose here. So you, you have to think, what, why, why are you there? Why are you doing what you are doing? And then a team, uh, especially if you are in a leadership role, in a, in a, you, you have a team. So what, what, what's in there for, the, for, for your team? And then the organization and, of course, the society and, and humanity at the end of the day. So is there a way we can contribute to that? And thus, you will become a better player you will become more sustainable and you will be able to survive the global challenge. So, and my last question is, what gives you purpose? Thank you.